and welcome to one of the most football crazy cities anywhere in Europe. We're in Dortmund, famed of course for the famous Yellow Wall. My name is Derek Ray and with me in the commentary position is the Arsenal legend Lee Dixon. And this is where it all starts in the UEFA Champions League. The group stage and match day one, my goodness, so much to look forward to. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Lazio. Well, the first group stage of the Champions League is always exciting. Three points is vital for both teams to get off to a good start. Or a draw may be a good result as well. We're about to find out what happens. Here's the starting 11 for Borussia Dortmund. Roman Furki gets the nod in goal. Dan Axel Zagadou starts with Mats Hummels in central defence. Mahmoud Dahoud starts alongside Axel Witzel in central midfield. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. Back in season 1992-93, the old European Cup, as it was, became the UEFA Champions League. Back in your playing days, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. I can just about remember that far back, Derek, <laughs> to be honest with you. But players were a little bit cautious about the new Champions League and how it's going to take shape and the format, etc. But certainly, uh, the European Cup is now a thing of the past and the Champions League has really taken shape. Here are the players who will start for Lazio. Thomas Strakosha gets the nod between the posts. Stefan Radu plays with Francesco Acerbi in central defence. Sergei Milinkovic-Savic plays with Lukas Leiva in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Erling Haaland. Beautifully disguised ball. He's just got to continue his run. and he finishes it perfectly past the keeper. Well, he's got to be delighted with his players, a big smile on his face. They've got the noses in front, they're in the lead, well done. Lulic, a room to roam on the wing, electing to cross into the centre, and a goal, the equaliser, superb entertainment. Well, we can see it again here, what a lovely inviting cross into the danger area that was. And the thunderous strike to beat the keeper hands down is absolutely brilliant. Well, let's have another view of that goal. Well, a penny for his thoughts right now, Derek. Plan B, I think, is needed. Chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And he's dispatched the header! Well, here's the replay. And Derek, if you get caught on the ball there, you should be fined a week's wages. It's terrible, and he's punished. Some explaining to be done to his coach, I feel. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored.
Well, the coach has to be happy with that. Got their noses in front. Still work to be done, though. And firing it into the area. Oh, the referee points to the spot. Penalty. And perhaps a bit fortunate not to be shown the yellow card. Different story next time, no doubt. So the corner played into the box. And first class defending, cleared off the line. As you can see, the visitors haven't had too much of the ball. But again, we've seen it before, we'll see it again. Their counter-attack play has been absolutely fantastic. Pace rip. And now can they keep calm? Immobile! And it goes! That will greatly help the cause. Now they only need to keep concentration levels high. Well, here it is again. Lovely disguise on the cross. The pullback catches out the defenders, and all he has to do is get anything on it for a simple goal in the end. Well, the ref will hear the crowd all right. We can hear him from him. Could reduce the deficit. And he does. There is hope for them, despite the adversity they suffered earlier. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And then through on goal. Do you go for placement or do you go for power? Well, he certainly wasn't messing around, was he? Absolutely smashes it past the keeper. It's a really lovely finish. Well, you can see the frustration on that touchline. He knows they've switched off and let them back in here. Well, they've got to give just a little bit more. The fans are demanding it. They could get themselves back into this one. This could square the game. And it has! Such late excitement. And no wonder they're jumping for joy as we speak. Well, here's the replay. Super fast counter attack football at its best. And he chooses to use power in the finish. Not much chance for the keeper when he's hit that hard. And the final whistle is sounded. Borussia Dortmund really wanted to win this game to get off to a flyer. But instead, they've dropped a couple of points in their opening match of the Champions League campaign. Well, he can't really complain. It's not an ideal start. Three points would have been the target at the start of the night. And there's a little bit more pressure just been piled on them now for game two. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, he's played so well today and got the goals as well, but those goals have only got his team a draw. He'll be looking over his shoulder at his defenders and saying, I'll get the goals and you just keep them out. Not the case today.